systems down. Huh? Yeah. I'm ready. Okay. Good evening. Um, unfortunately, Mayor Dillon is under the weather this evening and want, will not be able to attend, so I will be um, running the meeting in her stead. Tonight is the regular meeting of the Mayor and Council, Monday, November 29th, 2021. And roll call, please. Mayor oh, excuse me. I forgot to read the, right off the bat. The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law was enacted to ensure the right of all citizens to have advance notice of and to attend all meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting the public is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provision of, the, of this act, notice of this meeting of the mayor and council was originally published in the Bergen Record on Sunday, January 10th, 2021, and the Suburban News on February 4th, 2021 and updated in the Bergen Record and the Ridgewood News on Friday, June 4th, 2021. Now roll call, please, Ms. Duncan. Okay. Mayor Dillon is absent. Councilwoman Cusick. Present. Councilman Gutwetter. Here. Councilman Jones. Here. Councilman Kilman. Here. Councilman Weber. Here. Councilwoman Woods. Here. Can we stand for the flag stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do we have, oh, I make a motion uh, to approve the minutes for October 27th, 2021. I will second the motion. Anybody have any comments on those minutes? Not seeing any. Uh, roll call, please. Councilwoman Cusick. Yes. Councilman Gutwater. Yes. Councilman Jones. Yes. Councilman Kilman. Yes. Councilman Weber. Yes. Councilwoman Woods. Yes. May I have a motion to receive um, the communications? Thank you, Council President. I move that the communications be received and filed. I second. Thank you. Any comments on the communications? Not seeing any. Roll call, please. Councilwoman. <coughs> yes. Councilman Gutwetter. Yes. Councilman Jones. Yes. Councilman Kilman. Yes. Councilman Weber. Yes. Councilwoman Woods. Yes. Thank you. Now we will turn our attention to public comment. Anyone wishing to address the governing body, please give your name, spelling the last name and address as a courtesy. Please speak in an audible tone and address your comments to the chair. There will be a five-minute time limit per speaker unless reduced because of the volume of business on the agenda. Please note, public comment is your time. Out of respect and fairness, there will be no interruptions or questions answered during your time. No time shall be ceded to anyone else, and no time shall be saved for later use. Any responses may be given during the governing body's comments later in the meeting or as directed by the chair. The borough clerk is the official timekeeper. If you are on the phone, um, you hit star six, the phones are now muted, star six will unmute you and you will be able to get through. Does anyone in the audience have a public comment or want to go to the, to the microphone and say anything? And anyone on the, on the phone and the public wishing to speak, uh, hit star six and we will give you time to get through. I'll make a second call for public comment. Star six will open up the line and again, anyone in the audience that would like to speak. <coughs> And third and final, uh, star six will open up the phone line. You can make a public comment, or if anyone here in the room would like to speak, this is your time. Not hearing anyone, we will close public comment. And moving on, 
We have two mayoral appointments. And the first one is Christopher Hurley to Ramsey Rescue. And the second is Kara LaBanca to Ramsey Rescue as well. So we congratulate those folks on those assignments. Moving on to consent resolutions, Councilman Gutwitter, please. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Council President Kilman. Uh, be it resolved that resolutions 208 2021 through and including 216 2021, having been considered by the governing body of the Borough of Ramsey, be and are hereby passed and approved. There are no special permits or block party requests this evening. Second. Thank you. Roll call, please, Ms. Pendia. Councilwoman Cusick. Yes. Councilman Gutwitter. Uh, yes. Councilman Jones. Yes. Councilman Kilman. Yes. Councilman Weber. Yes. Councilwoman Woods. Yes. Thank you. So tonight we have some special presentations to our senior Olympic medal winners, and I'm going to ask Councilwoman Woods to come down and to assist me. Oh. 
We're going to take a 60 second recess if you want to get up and leave, or you can stay for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a boring one, guys. You can leave too. <laughs> I said thanks for the support. You came for her, but you're gonna leave now. And I'm gonna talk. I said <laughs> nothing you haven't heard before. <laughs> Great seniors awesome. group. They're just fantastic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, it's hard to beat that, but we'll we'll move on and we'll give it our best shot. It's time now for our committee and liaison reports. Addressing finance and administration. I'm sorry. Oh, I got it. Uh, because we're reconvening the meeting, may we have a roll call, please? Councilwoman Cusick? Here. Councilman Gutwetter? Here. Councilman Jones? Here. Councilman Kilman? Here. Councilman Weber? Here. Councilwoman Woods? Here. Thank you. Now, Finance and Administration, Councilman Gutwetter, please. Uh, thank you once again, Council President Kilman. Uh, and good evening. Uh, first off, I would like to congratulate Chris Hurley and Kara Abanka for their appointments to the Ramsey Rescue Squad and thank them for the service and wish Charles Thoring uh, well in his retirement from the DPW. I'd also like to congratulate the senior, the four senior Olympic medal winners and all the participants. Uh, as for the library board, uh, the Friends of the Ramsey Library is running their annual jewelry clearance on this Saturday, December 4th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m and the ongoing used book collection has been moved to the quiet room. The library is hosting its annual holiday giving tree, 
tree is located at the front of the library uh, from the um, donations are from November 29th to December 12th. The event is organized by the Junior Women's Club of Ramsey and Ramsey Responds will distribute the donations of gifts. The library wishes to thank the Ramsey Police Department, Crossing Guards, Earl Administration and the Lutheran Church for their help in their successful Boo Bash event held in early November. As for the Rec Commission, plans for the 50th anniversary of the Home Run Derby are under discussion. Uh, it's looking to be held in June of 2022. And Rec Basketball for Boys and Girls and Wrestling Registrations are open and play will begin shortly. That's all I have for this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Gutwetter. Public Safety, Councilman Harry Weber. Thank you, Council President. Um, beginning with Municipal Alliance, uh, we welcomed our newest member to the Ramsey Municipal Alliance at our last meeting, Father Nick Sertich from uh, St. Paul's Parish, who will be sworn in as a new member and will fill the role as a person of faith, which is one of the, um, I guess it's, it's a requirement or it's a, it's a requirement of the, the by, it's a suggested role, so we will fill that role. Um, our planning committee uh, planning activities continue, looking at community intervention programs in 2022 to include the upcoming film screening of um, movies uh, like by the Mawa Municipal Alliance, investigating the possibility of a comedy show featuring Dr. Matt Bellis, who just did a parent academy for us uh, a month or so ago, um, for the May Stigma Free Month, and we're looking into uh, different ideas for youth education. Uh, regarding uh, Ramsey is for everyone, we wrapped up the Challenger soccer season on Saturday, November 13th. We'll reconvene with Challenger basketball in January after the Christmas break. We had an autumn dance at the, uh, the community center on Friday, November 19th. It was very well attended, not, uh, not as jam-packed as the Halloween dance, but everybody was still had a, had a great time. And our next dance uh, or uh, party is scheduled for Friday, December 10th, uh, again at the community center. With regards to public safety, we have a couple of ordinances on the agenda tonight. Ordinance number 18, 2021, will be dealing with parking on uh, the Sundays during the operation hours of the farmer's market on surrounding streets. And uh, ordinance number 19 deals with um, turns around the Hubbard School, and I'll speak more specifically on, on the restrictions of those, uh, those ordinances when we introduce them later on. Also this week we'll be um, conducting interviews at the Ramsey Police Department to, uh, for the position of sergeant to backfill positions opening as a result of promotions and retirements. Um, the Environmental Commission, uh, I reported on this at our last meeting, but since then um, they have put out plans. They're trying to coordinate another styrofoam drive with Upper Saddle River. They're still working on the, uh, the planning and logistics for the next uh, collection, but the target date right now is um, December 11th. Um, I'd also like to thank Jim Trauf, who ran another successful shredding day on November 13th. Um, he uh, arranged for a truck to be provided by the county. The truck was more than halfway filled, and um, he, he does a very good job with this. He, um, you know, the, the flow was steady all day, and uh, it, was an, it was another successful event. Um, I do want to say thank you to Kevin O'Rourke for all of his years on the Board of Public Works. Congratulations to Charles Horing on his upcoming retirement. Um, thank you and best wishes to Chris Hurley and Carol Labanca on their appointments to Ramsey Rescue. They're already both very, very active with ambulance. I, I don't know where they get the time to do all these different emergency services, but they, they seem to do a good job at it. And congratulations to our senior Olympic medal winners, Snow Chu, Larry Clark, Diane Pevney, and Betsy Van Dyke. Thank you, Council President. Thank you, Councilman Weber. Moving on to building, planning, and zoning, Councilwoman Jane Wood. Thank you, Council President. Um, I wish to congratulate Christopher Hurley and Carol LeBlanca on their appointment to Ramsey Rescue. Thank you for your service. I also wish to congratulate Charles Herring for his um, retirement from the Ramsey DPW. And I also want to thank Kevin O'Rourke for his service on the Board of Public Works. He does so much for Ramsey. Um, and I also want to congratulate the Senior Olympic medal winners, Snow Chu, Larry Clark, Diane Pivney, and Betsy Van Dyke. So proud of you. Uh, the Ramsey Seniors. The senior trustees uh, held their meeting November 11th. The holiday party will be this Tuesday, December 7th. There are 95 people attending, and they are about to max out. Membership has been increasing as well as class attendance. 
New members added to the Board of Trustees are Catherine Dodwell and Andy Ferretti, and I want to thank them for stepping up and helping out. The Crafty Sisters have been doing very well at the farmer's market and have sold over $4,000 worth of their products, which are adorable. Um, the new cleaning service, which comes Wednesday and Sunday, has been fantastic, and we would also like to thank the DPW for being so attentive and helpful at the center. They've been terrific. There will be a meeting on December 9th, even though they don't usually hold a meeting in December, but there is much to do. The Board of Health held their meeting November 11th. The Board of Health Lecture Series will be returning on January, uh, in January on Thursday, January 20th at the Community Center from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. They also have scheduled Thursday, February 17th, March 24th, and April 21st. Speakers will be confirmed next month. The October Health Officers Report showed that from October 15th to November 5th, there were 13 positive COVID-19 cases. 10 of the cases were aged 21 through 49. Uh, Ramsey's vaccination rate for 18 and older is 97%. Bergen County is at 90% and New Jersey is at 85%. And the ICU beds utilized by COVID-19 patients, uh, patients in hospitals in the Northeast region are at 3%. The Board of Health is very busy now with license renewals and the Board is also looking into deer population density in Ramsey and will be conducting a comprehensive approach in addressing the issue. More to come on this topic. The Design Review Board uh, held their meeting Tuesday, November 23rd. There were five applications, Prestige Leg uh, Lexus excuse me, and Ramsey Mazda were simple branding changes and were approved. Prodigy Academies, located on Route 17, was also approved. The Medi Mobile business on Franklin Turnpike was approved, and they will be performing COVID-19 testing only. And lastly, Seven Souls Tattoo Shop added signage on the corner of the building by the train tracks, which was also permitted. Um, committee nominated Mary Lee Mullins as the new chairwoman and Karen Pedreza as the vice chairwoman. And I want to thank them both for stepping up. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Woods. Utilities, buildings, and grounds. That's my report. Um, I also want to wish uh, Charles Oring well on his retirement and thank Kevin O'Rourke for his <laughs> input and hard work on the Board of Public Works. He will be missed and congratulate uh, Christopher Hurley and Carol LeBlanca on their appointments to Ramsey Rescue. Um, I have two uh, reports. Um, I want to provide a brief update on the borough's assessment process of the current emergency services structure and site on South Island Road. Uh, after our last mayor and council meeting, Mr. Vose and our superintendent of public works, Jack Diagostino, or Diagostero, went to discuss how to determine which engineering group should conduct the impartial assessment of South Island's uh, facility. Some of these groups that we noted also came highly recommended by the Emergency Services Committee as well. At that meeting, Mr. Jose and I asked Jack to conduct initial interviews with the leading engineering groups and come back to us with his recommendations. When this is completed, the key council committees We'll review the recommendations and then the entire mayor and council will be informed of the findings. Upon mayor and council approval, the selected engineering group will be commissioned to do the assessment. Once the engineering work is completed, all pertinent borough parties will be made aware of their findings and at that time we will have a better sense of what needs to be done and the mayor and council will ultimately determine what comes next. We have one mayor and council meeting in December on Monday the 20th. Notwithstanding the time frame, work commitments, and holiday season schedules, we will do our best to have something more to announce at that meeting, if not at that meeting, in early January of 2022. So that's the current plan, and I will continue to update you as things become known. Regarding our veterans, um, this is a report from former councilman and military veteran and VFW Post 12148 member uh, Joe Verdoni. On Saturday, October 30th, VFW members replaced our 175 American flags on veterans' graves at Union Cemetery, Ramsey and Redeemer Cemetery in Mawa. On Sunday, November 7th, the VFW members set up a booth at the Ramsey Farmer's Market and had a very successful day selling patriotic shirts and getting poppy donations. On Thursday, November 11th, Veterans Day, the VFW held its annual Veterans Day ceremony at Ramsey Veterans Park. The VFW Post members thank all of those who attended to honor our veterans. 
After the ceremony, several VFW members visited the veterans living at the Brighton Gardens Assisted Living Facility in Saddle River. They also donated a full-size American, a full-size quilted American flag blanket, which has been put on display for all residents to appreciate. The VFW Post is anticipating marching in the Ramsey Home for the Holidays Parade on Saturday, December 4th. And that is his report and concludes my report. Public and Governmental Relations, Councilman Jones. Thank you, Council President Kilman. Uh, you mentioned Home for the Holidays. That is this uh, Saturday night. I don't know if somebody else is going to say that, but I thought I'd throw that in there. Um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, you also mentioned December 20th. That is our next meeting. We have one meeting in the month of December. For all those of you uh, listening and watching at home, it will be Monday, December 20th at 6 p.m. Um, due to holiday schedules and various other events in December, um, it, uh, that's the night of our meeting. And there is only one meeting in December. Again, Monday night, December 20th at 6 p.m. Please note the date change. Uh, to a Monday and a 6 p.m. earlier start. Um, I would offer my thanks to and wish Charles the very best in his retirement from our Public Works Department. Thank Kevin for his service on the Board of Public Works. Um, and welcome Chris and Kara to yet another emergency service, as was already mentioned, joining um, our uh, rescue squad. Um, there's nothing new to report this evening from the pool. Uh, However, I would, uh, on behalf of uh, the Pool Commission, offer our condolences to uh, our chairwoman, uh, Kathleen Hewitt, whose uh, mother passed away this past <coughs> week. Um, and uh, as, as we all know, uh, Kathleen and, and her husband, Greg, are uh, very active volunteers, not only in the fire department, the ladies' auxiliary, and Kat is chairperson of the of Pool Commission. So we just uh, want to pass along our condolences to their family at this at this difficult time. I would remind everyone the farmer's market begins their winter hours, which uh, is 10 to 1 instead of 9 to uh, 2, as it uh, is in the warmer months. Uh, and I believe that starts this Sunday. Um, and finally, as I say every month, the, to shop locally. Remember our local businesses uh, at this time. This is make or break for many of them after two difficult years. Um, and go to the, the Ramsey Chamber of Commerce website to seek out any goods and services you might need that may not necessarily even be a storefront. There's a lot of great businesses in town uh, and a lot of uh, our friends and neighbors who offer great products and services that they could share with you at this time and you'll be helping the community. Um, I have uh, nothing else to report at this time. Thank you, Councilman Jones. <clears throat> Health, Education, and Social Services, Councilwoman Judy Cusick. Thank you, Council President. Do you need the phone? No phone. No, no, it's, no it's, this phone. one's for, uh, it's stuck Thank here. You. Yeah. It's glued. Thank you. This is Councilwoman Cusick. I want to congratulate Charles Haring and uh, give thanks to Kevin O'Rourke. I want to congratulate Chris Hurley also and, and Cara Laban Labanca for their service to Ramsey Rescue. And congratulate our Olympians. Wow, um, Snow Chu, Larry Clark, Diane Peevney, and Betsy Van Dyke. Very impressive. Uh, tonight I'm going to update on the planning board, the Ramsey Board of Ed, and also Ramsey Responds. Um, but but I'm, I need to, to, to just mention this. Happy Thanksgiving belated to, to my friends and family here, and happy Hanukkah, um, and, and um, peace and light to you and your families. So. The planning board met on 16th November. There were four waivers approved, Kelly Kohler, Psychotherapy, uh, Wingtel Incorporated, Kayla LLC, and Engineers Mine Corp. There were two public hearings that night, um, long meeting. Michael Allen for a soil movement, and Alejandro and Andrea Frezza. This was a continuation hearing, and um, both applications were approved at this time. The planning board's 2022 annual schedule of regular and special meetings was presented and approved. The next planning board meeting is 7th of December. For the Ramsey Board of Ed, I encourage our town members to keep current with Board of Ed activities because 69% of the 
of the Ramsey residence property taxes are for the Board of Ed. The meetings are recorded on the platform YouTube. Once in YouTube, you can search Ramsey Board of Ed. The meetings are listed and sorted by date. There was a meeting on the 23rd of November. There was a presentation about the New Jersey School Boards Association training. Also noted was the high school's first all school assembly, which took place on November 12th to commemorate Veterans Day. There were representatives from the History Club and they spoke about the history of Veterans Day, distinctions between Veterans Day and Memorial Day and how to best commemorate it. Um, Ramsey VFW representatives Joe Barnes and John Rigg were present and they were recognized and they provided reflections. On December 1st, the Parent Academy has a lecture titled The Mind of the Athlete, Best Practices for Parenting, Today's Student Athlete, with lecturer Dr. Jared Spence. This is at 7.30, December 1st at the Ramsey High School Auditorium. The next Board Event meeting is December 21st, and please note that's a change from the original calendar. Ramsey Response had a successful 2021 Thanksgiving food drive on the 19th of November. The community came out strong to support the event. For the food pantry, donations are always welcome. The collection occurs Tuesdays, 4 to 5.30 p.m. at St. Paul's with distribution on Friday. The pantry is in need of cereal, macaroni and cheese, three to five pound bags of rice, oatmeal pancake mix, and syrup, jelly, and beans. There's also a social media page for Ramsey Responds for additional information on their projects and their requests for the pantry. Thank you very much, President Council Kilman. Thank you, Councilwoman Cusick. <clears throat> Next would be Mayor Dillon. I only want to say one thing for her, and I don't know if anybody else has comments. I know how disappointed she is that she couldn't have been here tonight to present personally the um, awards to the Senior Olympic medal winners. Uh, she is really um, someone who especially loves our seniors in this community and loves how enthusiastic and how much they participate in our community and especially would have loved to give Snow Chu and Larry Clare, Diane Pevney, and Betsy Van Dyke their awards personally. So I know that um, I would be remiss if I didn't say that. And if I weren't here, I'm sure that uh, Bill Jones would have been right by her side handing out those awards as well. So does anyone else have anything for Mayor Dillon? OK. Moving along, Councilor. Oh, I'm sorry. Borough Administrator, Mr. Bruce Jose. Thank you, Council President. Um, just uh, I'd like to remark on a few of the resolutions and a number of the ordinances on the agenda tonight. Uh, resolution 214, Charles Horney is a full-time employee in our DPW. He's been with us a number of years. He'll be sorely missed. We do wish him well in his retirement, and I will update the governing body as we move forward in the process of filling the open position in the DPW. Resolution 215, we discussed at a previous meeting, Kathy Vetter, who's our senior tax clerk, will be retiring at the end of the year. We had advertised the position, interviewed for it. The resolution 215 confirms the appointment of Richard Buza as senior tax clerk in our finance department. Rich has years of municipal experience, holds a tax collector certification as well as possessing previous accounts payable and payroll experience. We brought him on board now to overlap and train with Kathy prior to her retirement. Resolution 216, the federal government uh, has issued an emergency rule regarding mandated vaccination or weekly testing for private sector employers with 100 or more employees. This also includes state and local government employers with over 100 employees that have state approved OSHA programs. As New Jersey municipalities are under OSHA approved programs, this rule is applicable to Ramsey. The federal rule is being challenged currently in the courts where the Fifth Circuit has issued a stay barring the government from moving forward with it. New Jersey is not in the Fifth Circuit, but rather the Third Circuit where no court rulings have been issued to date. Borough's labor attorneys reviewed and advised the borough of its requisite compliance to the rule, which, while ultimate enforcement and dates in the rule are subject to final legal determination by the courts based on the labor attorney recommendation, we're looking to pass a resolution prior to December 5th. The resolution confirms Ramsey's compliance with the applicable rule upon final legal determination by the courts. We have a number of ordinances that will be introduced tonight. I'll give some comments on those ordinances as well. Uh, as discussed at the last meeting, Ordinance 15 is for licensing fees for dogs and cats. As discussed at the last meeting, the borough has purchased new licensing software, which has a pet licensing module. 
The software has enhanced capabilities for residents. We can now offer a total online option for the licensing process from the application through the payment for those pet owners who would prefer to register that way in a total online experience. In reviewing our current licensing structure and the transition to the new software, we are recommending an annual increase to dog licenses of $3 and cat licenses of $2. Our current fees have not been changed since 2009 for dogs and 1999 for cats and are generally below those of surrounding municipalities. There will be no increase on the current senior citizen pet licensing fees. Ordinance 16 is a filming ordinance, modifications to our current filming ordinance. In reviewing our filming ordinance for a recent application, we spoke with our risk manager, uh, Frank Cavelli from PIA, regarding any potential changes in the standards in the marketplace for contractors in this industry and any updates regarding such that we should implement. These modifications to the ordinance were recommended by our risk manager in compliance with standards expected from the joint insurance fund the borough participates with. So all these are recommended, uh, and the only changes to the filming ordinance are revolve around the insurance components that a contractor would need to provide. Ordinance 17, 2021 is a bond ordinance. The borough has a number of capital improvements for infrastructure and specialized equipment and will be financing through this bond ordinance. The total of the bond ordinance, including soft costs, is $905,000. Ramsey will be making a $46,000 down payment on the ordinance from our capital improvement fund. The components of the ordinance are as follows. Renovation and ADA improvements to both the second floor bathrooms and the first floor bathrooms, two on each floor at Borough Hall. Current estimates of the total project contract for all the bathrooms and improvements as well as soft costs is $283,000. These projects were granted awards under the Bergen County Community Development Block Grant Program under two successive years, totaling $126,838. And the borough will finance the project in full, and the grants will be received upon completion, which will pay down the financing. Uh, this bond ordinance also includes purchase of a new front end loader for the DPW with an estimated cost of $240,000. This equipment will replace our current front end loader, which is over 25 years old. Purchase of a new roll off truck for the DPW with an estimated cost of $270,000. This truck will replace the current one, which is 16 years old. Purchase of two vehicles for the Ramsey Police Department with an estimated cost of $112,000, which includes vehicles and the requisite installed equipment for the police use. Ordinance 18 uh, modifies the parking ordinance. We have ordinances 18 and 19 are both parking and turns related to two different things that Councilman Weber touched on a little earlier. They're both being pro uh, proposed after review and recommendation from the Ramsey Police Department's Traffic Division regarding traffic and safety around Hubbard School and the Farmer's Market on Sundays at Erie Plaza. Ordinance 18 is in regard to the proposed parking restrictions. Uh, for Sunday, there are no parking restrictions on Maple Street between Plaza Lane and Covert Court and Cleveland Street between South Central and Erie Plaza, both between the hours of 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, no parking while school is in session between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. on the north side of West Oak Street between Furman Ave and Valley View Drive and on the south side of West Oak for the same hours between Furman and Acorn Court. Uh, Ordinance 19 deals with left turns. And this is in the Hubbard School area. This ordinance uh, is, again, recommended by the Ramsey Police Department Traffic Division. And it prohibits left turns between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. while school is in session in three directions. One, onto Hubbard School Lane from West Oak Street. Two, onto Hubbard School Lane from Whitehawk Avenue and three onto Wipeup Avenue from Hubbard School Lane. And finally, Ordinance 20 is a capital improvement ordinance. This ordinance allocates funds that we have previously included in the municipal budget, which are now to be authorized and allocated for expenditure on specific projects and equipment. Therefore, this ordinance involves no new funding or borrowing. The components of this ordinance are uh, for the Ramsey Volunteer Fire Department purchase of PPE and related equipment for 25000 this allocation is part of a multi-year program to replace a portion of the PPA on a PPE on a rotating basis as needed or as mandated, and in addition, outfit new volunteers as they come aboard. 
the Ramsey Volunteer Fire Department equipment upgrades to the 2004 tower ladder truck, which will include emergency and scene lighting for $65,000, the Ramsey Rescue Squad for purchase of PP&E SCBA cylinders, SCBA packs, and portable radios for $91,000 total. This allocation, again, is part of a multi-year program to replace a portion of the of those items, um, as well as the portable, portable radios on a rotating basis as needed and mandated, and also, again, to outfit new volunteers. The Ramsey Rescue Squad for purchase of a replacement utility truck and related requisite equipment for 110000 This truck was recently in use at an accident scene on Route 17, parked and was hit and totaled by another car. The borough has received insurance proceeds of approximately $25,000 from the accident, as this was an aged vehicle. These proceeds will mitigate some of the total cost of the replacement. And the Ramsey Police Department for the purchase of two replacement vehicles with requisite equipment and lighting, a total sum of 115000 is hereby appropriated. The borough has been on a replacement schedule for two police patrol vehicles annually due to late purchase in 2018 and subsequently the COVID-19 pandemic. Only one new vehicle was purchased in 2019 and 20 combined. We have two vehicles in this capital improvement ordinance and two included in the bond ordinance previously discussed. And that's all I have for tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bose. Counselor? Colonel Clerk, Ms. Bendian. Tonight we have a number of ordinances to introduce. Um, I know that. Uh, Borough Administrator, Mr. Jose, has covered uh, some, some of these uh, in the comments section. Um, but let's begin with Ordinance 15-2021, um, Councilwoman Judy Cusick. Thank you, Council President. So Ordinance 15-2021 is an ordinance amending Chapter 5 of the Code of the Borough of Ramsey, Bergen County, New Jersey, and more specifically Section 5-1 entitled Licensing of Dogs and Section 5-6 entitled Cats. I second. Thank you very much, Councilwoman. All right. Any comment, or are we good? We're good? Yeah. Roll call, please. Councilwoman Cusick? Yes. Councilman Gutwetter? Yes. Councilman Jones? Yes. Councilman Kilman? Yes. Councilman Weber? Yes. Councilwoman Woods? Yes. Thank you. Ordinance 16 2021, Councilman Jones, please. Thank you, Council President Kilman. <clears throat> I have introduction of Ordinance 16-2021. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance amending Chapter 3 of the Code of the Borough of Ramsey, Bergen County, New Jersey, and more specifically Section 3-28, uh, thereof titled Filming. Pass, first by, <clears throat> pass the first uh, reading by title and that said ordinance be Further considered for final passage and adoption at a regular meeting of the mayor and council will be held the 20th day of December 2021 at 6 p.m. at prevailing time or soon after as the matter can be reached at the municipal building in said borough. Be it further resolved that the borough clerk be and she hereby is instructed to publish in an official newspaper of the borough in a manner provided by law. Copy of said ordinance together with the notice and the introduction thereof when notice will be considered for final passage and adoption. Do we have a second? Councilwoman Cusick, I second. Thank you. Any comment, Mr. Jones? No, I think Mr. Vose said everything. This has been recommended by our risk manager to bring us in line for those looking to film in the borough. Okay, thank you. A roll call, please. Councilwoman Cusick? Yes. Councilman Gutwetter? Yes. Councilman Jones? Yes. Councilman Kilman? Yes. Councilman Weber? Yes. Councilwoman Woods? Yes. Thank you. Ordinance 17 2021. Councilman Gottwetter, please. Uh, thank you, Council President Kilman. Uh, this is the introduction of Ordinance 17-2021. Be resolved that an ordinance entitled Bond Ordinance to Authorize the Making of Various Public Improvements and the Acquisition of New Additional or Replacement Equipment and Machinery and New Automotive Vehicles, including original apparatus and equipment in, by, and for the Borough of Ramsey in the County of Bergen, State of New Jersey to appropriate the sum of $905,000 to pay the cost thereof to make a down payment to authorize issuance of bonds to finance such appropriation and to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes 
in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds. Pass the first reading by title, and that said ordinance be further considered for final passage and adoption at the regular meeting of the mayor and council. It could be held on the 20th day of December 2021, 6 p.m. prevailing time, or as soon after as the matter can be reached as municipal building in said borough. And be it further resolved that the borough clerk be and she hereby is instructed to publish in an official newspaper of the borough in a manner provided by law a copy of said ordinance together with notice of introduction thereof and notice when the same will be considered for final passage and adoption. Thank you. Do we have a second? Oh, second. Okay. Thank you. Any further comments on that, uh, Councilman Gutwater? No, I believe um, a borough administrator, um, Bruce Rose, uh, gave a pretty good um, summary of the uh, contents of this ordinance. All right. Thank you. Roll call, please. Councilwoman Cusick. Yes. Councilman Gutwater. Yes. Councilman Jones. Yes. Councilman Kilman. Yes. Councilman Weber. Yes. Councilwoman Woods. Yes. Thank you. Moving on to Ordinance 18-2021. Councilman Weber, please. Thank you, Council President. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance amending Chapter 7 Traffic of the Code of the Borough of Ramsey, Bergen County, New Jersey, and more specifically Section 7-7 thereof entitled Parking, pass the first reading by title, and that said ordinance be further considered for final passage and adoption at a regular meeting of the Mayor and Council to be held on the 20th day of December 2021, 6 p.m. prevailing time, or as soon after as the matter can be reached at the municipal building in said borough and be it further resolved that the borough clerk be, and she hereby is instructed to publish in an official newspaper of the borough in the manner provided by law a copy of said ordinance together with notice of introduction thereof and notice when the same will be considered for final passage and adoption. Thank you. I second it. Uh, any further comment on that, Councilman Weber? No, nothing on the detail. Uh, borough um, administrator covered it very well. I just would like to say thank you to Officer Canonico and the Traffic Division for all the work they did on this one and uh, Orders 19. All right. Thank you, Councilman Weber. Roll call, please. Councilwoman Cusick. Yes. Councilman Gutwater. Yes. Councilman Jones. Yes. Councilman Tillman. Yes. Councilman Weber. Yes. Councilwoman Woods. Yes. Thank you. Ordinance 19-2021, once again, Councilman Harry Weber. Thank you. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled, an ordinance amending Chapter 7, Traffic of the Code of the Borough of Ramsey, Bergen County, New Jersey, and more specifically, Section 7-22, thereof entitled, Turn Prohibitions, pass the first reading by title, and that said ordinance be further considered for final passage and adoption at a regular meeting of the Mayor and Council to be held on the 20th day of December, 2021, 6 p.m. prevailing time, or as soon after as the matter can be reached at the borough, at the municipal building in said borough, and be it further resolved that the borough clerk be, and she hereby is instructed to publish in an official newspaper of the borough in the manner provided by law a copy of said ordinance together with notice of introduction thereof and notice when the same will be considered for final passage and adoption. I second. Thank you. Once again, Councilman Weber, any further comments on that? Nothing further. Okay. Thank you. Um, can we have a roll call, please? Councilwoman Cusick. Yes. Councilman Gutwater. Yes. Councilman Jones. Yes. Councilman Kilman. Yes. Councilman Weber. Yes. Councilwoman Woods. Yes. Okay. And lastly, Ordinance 20-2021, Councilman Gutwater, please. Uh, thank you again, Council President Kilman. Uh, this is the introduction of Ordinance 20-2021. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to authorize capital improvements for the purpose of acquisition of vehicles and equipment for Ramsey Police Department, Ramsey Volunteer Fire Department, and Ramsey Rescue Squad in the Borough of Ramsey, Bergen County, New Jersey, and to appropriate the sum of $406,000 to pay the cost thereof. Pass the first reading by title and that said ordinance be further considered for final passage and adoption at a regular meeting of the mayor and council to be held on the 20th day of December, 2021, 6 p.m. prevailing time or as soon after as the matter can be reached at the municipal building in said borough and be it further resolved that the borough clerk be and she hereby is instructed to publish in an official newspaper of the borough in a manner provided by law, a copy of said ordinance together with notice of introduction thereof and notice when the same will be considered for final passage and adoption. 
Okay. Any second? Thank you. Uh, any other comments on that, Councilman Gutwater? Uh, no further comments as uh, our administrator, um, Jose, gave a very, very good summary of this ordinance. I just want to reiterate, however, that uh, this ordinance allocates funds that were previously included in the municipal budget, which are now authorized and allocated for expenditure on specific projects. Uh, this, this ordinance does not involve any new funding or borrowing. Thank you very much, Councilman Gutwater. Um, may we have a roll call, please? Councilwoman Cusick? Yes. Councilman Gutwater? Yes. Councilman Jones? Yes. Councilman Kilman? Yes. Councilman Weber? Yes. Councilwoman Woods? Yes. At this time, do we? Yes, sir. I would to add to the first ordinance, 2021. Thank you. That um, it having passed in the first reading today, um, it will be further considered for final passage of regular meeting of the American Council held on the 20th day of December 2021 at 6 p.m. prevailing time or sooner thereafter it can be reached by reached at the municipal building in said borough and the further result of the borough court being hereby is instructed to publish an official newspaper of the borough in the matter provided by law a copy of the ordinance together with notice of introduction thereof and notice the same will be considered for final passage and adoption. Thank you very much, Councillor. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was actually going to. Should we do another roll? Have a note to you. No, no, it's fair. Okay, it's fair. Okay. Thank you. Um, do we have any unfinished business? Is there any new business? We have a motion to adjourn. So moved, John. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.